today on Running to Him. Some will hear Christ's message and believe. Others will ignore it because they refuse to believe it. Today's reading from the reading plan is John chapter 18, verses 12 through 40, and we will concentrate on verses 37 through 38. John 18, verse 37 through 38 says, Therefore, Pilate said to him, So you are a king? Jesus answered and said, You are correctly saying that I am a king. For this I have been born, and for this I have come into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone is of the truth who hears my voice. And Pilate said to him, Well, what is truth? And when he said this, he went out again to the Jews and said, I find no guilt in him. Now, the story of Pilate questioning Christ allows us to see several aspects of Christ's position and purpose in answering Pilate's questions. He answers in a way that he is king, but his kingdom is not of this world. Taken alone, Christ's statement would mean that an earthly kingdom's theological position would be wrong. But is is that what Christ is saying? Pilate is referencing the current situation. Jesus is standing before him, and he stopped Peter from fighting those coming in to take him captive, John 18, verses 10 and 11. Now, Jesus has two missions. The first is the sacrificial mission, and the second is the kingly mission. The first must come before the second. So, let's look at what Christ tells Pilate. He tells him that everyone who is of the truth hears, meaning Christ's words or voice. Pilate's immediate response is essentially, I don't hear it. The application then is that some do hear Christ's voice and some don't. And it was true then, and it's true now. Now, people in the United States are becoming less able to hear the truth. The gospel message is becoming harder to spread because people have less trust in absolute facts. For example, you can hear it said that you have your truth and I have mine. That's a logical fallacy. There is a principle in logic called the law of non-contradiction. Simply stated, it means that two contradictory statements which purport to be true cannot both be true. For example, if I said that my first name is Phineas and you said that my first name was John, one of us might be wrong. We both cannot be right. We both could be wrong, but only one could be correct. The Jewish leaders told Pilate that Jesus claimed to be a king. Pilate asked if that was true. Jesus explained that that is true, but he was not of a king of an earthly kingdom. Pilate's response to Christ's statement then would make sense. If Pilate didn't philosophically believe you could declare truth, then Jesus was not guilty of the charge. To be king of a kingdom that's not of this world is not a kingdom of which Pilate cared. When we speak with people about our relationship to Christ, only those who believe in the concept of absolute truth will listen or hear Christ. Those who suggest that truth is a relative concept will not believe or hear Christ because they don't believe in the idea of absolute truth. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.